Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. Welcome back to the Spinner Rack, issue 33. As always, I'm your host, Big B. Brian Adams. Joining me as always, my co-host, Junior Reeves, co-host the Comics Remix. And this week we'll be tackling the comic book TV and movie news. Yeah, because Lord knows there's a lot of it. There's a lot. Yeah. We are, um, let's see, we're about two and a half weeks removed from the day, or uh, heading into the debut of Captain America, Winter Captain America the Winter Soldier. Ooh. I cannot fucking wait for that movie. That movie looks really good. It looks like it's going to be one of those movies that's better than the original was. Oh, of course. You know how sometimes sequels aren't as good? Sometimes they're better. Star yeah. Wars, usually sequels are better. Like wow. the second one, anyway. Empire Strikes Back, I like better than the first one. Right, right. But anyway, it looks badass, man. It does. It absolutely fucking does. I uh, can't wait. I think they're going to kill Hawkeye, in my opinion. Yeah? From what I've been reading about stuff, they've been having problems with him in negotiations. He was pissed off about how his character was handled in Avengers. Really? I can't remember the guy, the actor's name. Um, I don't remember. Jeremy Renner. Yeah. But apparently he wasn't happy with like being a douchey villain the whole time in Avengers. Right. They're having issues and there's possibility that he might may die in Captain America. Wow. Which so I know the guy... There's a lot of Black Widow. Yeah. But no Hawkeye. And then I noticed... Uh, I, I don't know, uh, I, if you eagle-eyed viewers will see her if they pause it. When Cap and Black Widow are looking into like an operating room, mm-hmm. you notice it's not. It's... Uh, what's his face? Sam Jackson. Nick Fury that's in the operating room. So any of you that just heard that and think that you thought that maybe it was Hawkeye they were looking at, it's it was not. Snakes, it's Sam Jackson. Know. It's Nick Fury. I could be wrong. I'm just speculating, man. That's, <laughs> right, you know, no, my totally, own totally. speculation. Uh, oh, right. another thing you should get excited about, Captain America Winter Soldier. The action figures? No. Because those are badass. Oh, hell no. This is going to get you even more excited. The Teenage debut Teenage trailer Ninja Turtles, of Ninja baby. Turtles. That's right. I cannot wait. That's right. See, I knew you had to know that. Of course I knew that. I mean, that's your shit. You had to know that. Of course I knew that. I'm ex- you know what? I, I'm, the toy lines, the or early shots of possible figures have been released. Yeah. Not really too happy with the looks on them. Really? No. Well, I don't like how they things. like. Two things. One, remember, they're prototypes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's why I haven't. I'm not like, what the So what are you not? Just, I guess we got to go into this now. What are you not uh, What are you not happy about? As far I as just don't like, like. I wanted fucking like a classic Ninja Turtles, dude. Okay. I didn't want them Like I understand That they're giving them Each their own style And it's gonna reflect Their personality and shit But I just don't appreciate that I just don't I don't know why I'm just not mm. I'm like eh, It's a little too Mikey looks too urban for me uh, One of them looks like A fucking samurai Leo. Leo, okay. Well, it's, that makes sense, though, for his character. I, no, and that's the problem Is these stylization decisions That they've made On these characters Fit them but for me, I'm kind of like, uh, I just wanted some shells and the belt. And the did you see hands. Shredder? No, I didn't see Shredder. Dude, wicked. I'm still excited about it. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. I'm Yeah, I'm very excited. You know and, uh, oh, wait, and we finally got a trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy about and a month ago? To go back, you know, during this trailer, if people are speaking, I'm going to be that asshole. Oh, yeah, no, right? Shut the fuck like, up. Motherfucker, shut up. Like, I can't hear the surround sound speakers in the movie theater <laughs> because you want to sit there and whisper to the guy next to you, shut up. Yeah, like, I... I I'm interested in seeing Winter Soldier. I don't know if I'd go see it in the theater. The fact that the, the, the Ninja um, Turtles trailer debuts with it is like, yeah. I might have to go. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. You saw the trailer, right? Yeah. One on Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah. As a fan that's just gotten into it with the Marvel now, I like it. And it seems to me to represent the comic so somewhat. Okay. I mean, really didn't get Rocket talking or anything, so you don't know how his... But, I mean, uh, Star-Lord seems to be kind of douchey, seems to be kind of, like, full of himself. I got a little bit of that arrogance from that guy. The whole scene with the finger and it blurring it yeah. out and saying, you know, that, uh, what the hell did it say? It just it was just weird because he's like, um, oh, well, no, it, I the screen know. says something as oh, he's doing it. Um, it's like saying, like, offensive hand gesture yeah. or uh, eminent or some shit. That, that was funny. Yeah. But a lot of people were saying it looks like shit. A lot of people were saying, oh, you know, the guy that's playing Star-Lord, he's a comedian by trade. And that, that's going to take away, and they're going to make it like a comedy, and it's going to suck. And a lot of people are hating on it, man. No faith in the Guardians. I, You know what? I think it's going to do great. I think it's going to be a fun movie. That too. But I really do think it's going to do great. Look at the promotion they're doing for it. Like, right now, it's the, the trailer's just debuted, but leading up to the debut of the movie itself, dude, you know you've made it when you got a Lego set. Yeah, no, absolutely. Guardians of the Galaxy Legos. Who would have th- ever thought Guardians of the Galaxy? You know, I've been wanting to buy that Guardians of the Galaxy pack, but there's no Gamora, and Groot's just a stupid little plant. Yeah. So you're really only getting two figures because Rocket hardly counts because he's so small. Are you going to get the I'm going to get the, the Legends? new one. The, the new one. Oh, my God, it's badass. 
It's got all of them. I'm done. After after hunting down the Spider-Man Legends and the uh, Captain America Legends, which I still need Black Widow, and from the Spider-Mans, I need Boomerang and um, Spider-Woman, if anybody out there listening. I gotta go hunt me down Superior. Oh, they're easy to find. Good. They're everywhere. Um, him, Beetle, there's a couple that are everywhere. Yeah, but after going through this with the damn, with these two series, I'm not going to go through it with Guardians. I'm just going to go ahead and order the case. And any extras I get, I'll pop them off. Well, I thought they were putting in a set, man. Like a whole set. Right. They're putting out like a set, a box set, I believe. Oh, a box set? At least set. that's what I saw. No, I didn't see that. Well, maybe it was just the display for the figures that made it look like a box it set. It might have been. I know they've got the star. Whatever. Or, that was the motherfuckers I will get. Um, Groot is to build a figure. You know, and obviously right the biggest piece of Groot comes with Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, obviously. You know. I so. don't agree with the stylistic changes they've made to Gamora. I don't like that her hair is red. I think is it's it red? Green. Yeah, it is. I didn't even notice that. At least the early promo picture story, and I'm pretty sure it was when they showed her in the lineup. Yeah? But Batista looks badass as fucking tracks, dude. He does, but I still see Batista. I know. You know? Especially when he walks, he's got that. I'm going to wait for him to power bomb somebody nice, and shit. right? Like, do 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 Power bomb. But people are hating on it. Wow. People are hating on it. Just like some people are hating on the fact that they said that uh, they've cast Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. I, you know, I'm gonna, I've said it before, obviously off-season because we're returned, but uh, there's two movies coming out that I do not want to watch. And one of them is Batman and Superman. Really? Yeah. No interest in seeing Batman and Superman? At first I was, but then it's just like, you know what? Is it because they're trying to pack too much into it? That is exactly why. You feel like they're just going to fuck it all up? What it is is they're going to make it. The Superman sequel is going to suffer because people will always remember for being a shitty Superman sequel. Because in reality, what Warner Brothers is doing, if you really pay attention, they're making it a Justice League film. But they're going to call it a Superman sequel. So if it flops... These or Warner Brothers can turn around and be like, "Well, we still got Justice League in our back pocket to help save us." You see what I'm saying? But okay, okay. But well, here's my opinion, though. So if they do a Superman two, disguise it as a Justice League movie, and it bombs, where the fuck do they think the people are going to want to see Justice League? Very true. But I'm thinking that's the one. That's their excuse. That's then their you out. just murdered the idea. That's their out saying, "Well." We could make a Justice League movie, as opposed to saying, you know, hey, we can make a different Justice League movie. Give us another chance. Okay, know? so we we've, we've had the Ben Affleck discussion already when it happened. Yeah, I'm all right with him. I can see him playing. I don't know how he's going to play Batman. We'll see. But it's, I can see him playing a pretty. Decent I feel like Batman. it's a wait and see. I will say that I'm totally upset that Brian Cranston's not going to be Lex Luthor. I think everybody was. When I heard that he was gonna that he was possibly up for it, I was like, oh my god, it'd be amazing for it. Be fucking just amazing. I love the fact that he was a villain on Power Rangers. That's awesome too. He was like one of the monsters in the costume. But uh, it's Jesse Eisenberg. He's I don't know, man. For for me, he'll always be that douchey, whiny kid from Zombieland. Yeah. So him being Lex Luthor. I mean, obviously they'll shave his head. I mean, but how sinister can he look with the shave that I don't? I right? don't see him. It, it just doesn't work. I don't see him being. Uh, it just doesn't work. And like, just like people are clamoring that they want would like to see the Dark Knight Nolan's universe continue. I know some people don't like hate the Nolan universe, right? But some people are hardcore and they would love to see fucking uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt come back and, and be Ryan Batman, right? Be Batman? Uh, uh, no, too small. Make a horrible Batman. If they did like some kind of Batman Beyond take on it, I could see it working. But his Batman himself never worked. He'd be terrible. Well, Christian Bale was too small as well, but he pulled it off. Yeah, but he built himself up. Who's to say Joseph I'm Gordon-Levitt saying he's can. just not. Um, I guess you're right. Which brings us into the Wonder Woman casting. If you really want to go there about building up. Yeah, see, that's my problem, though. If I was the fucking guy casting these movies, instead of going for acting abilities, yeah, you get for a little bit of that, but I'd go for, like, look, man. You can't always go for look. Yeah, the look. Case in point, Star Wars, episode one, two, and three. You always can't go for the looks. Everybody saw Hayden Christensen. That was bad casting. That's what I'm saying. That was bad casting. But I would have never picked that kid. They looked looked the part. I would have never played that kid kid to play Anakin Skywalker. Never. I don't know. I do think you you and McGregor was spot on for being Obi Wan. Yeah, yeah. And, but no, it's yeah, I don't. You know, we'll see, man. It's I think it's going to be. It's got a heavy cast, man. I mean, they got Jeremy Irons in as Alfred now, which I mean, that's kind of refresh. Jeremy memory. Irons, Die Hard Two. He was the villain in Die Hard Two, or maybe it was three. Okay. No, it was three. Okay, okay. He was the villain in three. He was the the, the guy that was the brother from the first. Ugh. He was the guy that was in the, the villain of the first movie's brother. Right, right, right. Oh, wait, fuck that. I know, uh, okay, I know, I know. Who was talking about? Oh, Jeremy Irons was the villain in the first Die Hard oh, movie. God. I'm getting myself confused, I'm sorry. First Die Hard, Jamie Iron, Jeremy oh, Irons. Sure. He's been in a bunch of stuff. Good actor, man. Uh, and Man in the Iron Mask, Three Musketeers movie, one of my favorite movies. Okay. It's one of the Musketeers. He's British, dude. He'll pull it off. 
Will he be as good as Michael Caine? I guess we'll see. So you've really got no opinion of Eisenberg as Luther. You'll just have to wait and see. Or you don't want to see. I don't want to see. It doesn't... Man. Like, it's just... You know what it is? And it's also all the fan backlash on the casting. It's all... It's affecting uh, my judgment on it as well, which okay. I know as, you know, what we do... You know, we shouldn't let shit like that sway us, but it kind of does. Like, it's just, to me, it's receiving nothing but bad press. So people nag, just ragging me, <laughs> like, oh, this is going to fucking suck, is affecting your outview on it. Yeah, this movie in particular, you know, I don't know why, because obviously everybody's bashing uh, Michael Bay's Transformers and Turtles and stuff like that, but I'm still all like, yay, you know, so I don't know, we'll see. I think it's a we'll see. It's, uh, it'll probably be a hot mess, though, from, from where it looks now. Oh, my God. Don't get so excited. I have to. It's I have to. I just I was I just received a text photo. Yeah. A pair of black and white Converse high top red laces Eastman Ninja Turtle artwork on there. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Check that out. Damn, that's badass. Yeah, I'd rock those in a heartbeat. You're gonna have to put this on Facebook so people can see what we're talking. Yeah, about. people on Facebook, I will go ahead and uh, post this photo. Nin- black and white Converse Ninja Turtles. Red laces, red bandanas. They're so badass right now. I will post this photo, so we'll, uh, yeah, no. So you're not excited about that, so I guess I can just move on from DC Cinematic. Oh, here's more casting pitching for you. This you might actually get it on. The reboot of FF. How do you feel about their casting? That's the other movie I don't want to watch. Wow. Fuck so I that just, movie. I'm like, you, we're going to talk about the two movies. Junior wants nothing to do with This is awesome. I, is I want nothing to do with We want more I'll of your watch, I'll watch Batman What's your problem? before I watch Fantastic Four. Fucking A, so will I. What's, what's your problem with Fantastic Four? You know, like, the, just the direction they're taking it. I'm not going to go ahead and say the obvious elephant in the room with Fantastic Four is, beca- is casting Johnny Storm as a black man. You know, that's not... I have no problem with changing a character's nationality. Like, obviously, Kingpin for Daredevil was uh, Michael Clark Duncan. Mm-hmm. But there's just some characters you can't change because it fucks up everything, you know? Everybody's like, oh, well, how are him and Sue Storm going to be brother and sister now? Um, adoption, you know. But for some reason, just the casting in general just does not get me. And the fact that Fox has already taken two chances with this movie and nothing. And now your third and possibly final chance to make something of this franchise, and you're going to go ahead and put in a very, um, I would say, controversial cast. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like... The dude, casting's bad. It, it's horrible. It's just bad. They're talking about making Doctor Doom a woman? Yeah, I read about that. Come on, man. I think that was just more shit someone said because fans are getting all pissed off. It's like, all right, let's piss them off a little more. Yeah. Let's say Dr. Doom's going to be a chick and really pissed off. You know what's also funny? It's truthful. I, I, I should not say funny. It's truthful, but it was an asshole move. The, uh, Michael B. Jordan, the guy who's playing Human Torch, mm-hmm. he's been tweeting and posting that fans should just stop their bitching because they know they're going to go watch the movie anyway. Yeah. And it's just like, dude, you don't say that shit. But as fanboys, most of us are going to go see it anyway. Yeah, I'm not going to go see it. I'm not going to. Fuck that. If I do, obviously, it's for review purposes for the show. Sometimes I have to be unbiased. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, man, we need to get, like, a clause in your contract where, like, if you're going to review movies, they like, let you go see them for free. Yeah, no shit. Because then, you know, hey, I'll go see whatever. If it sucks, I mean, I'll... Well, I, I'll I can go see them for free. I've got, I've got some connections. You I'll got go some see, hookups. I got to go see Lego movie on Thursday. Right on. Or, like, three Thursdays ago. So, yeah, I'm not... Uh, Fantastic Four looks like crap. This movie's going to bomb, in my opinion. I don't really care about the casting. I'm not even going to... Oh, there's a black guy, Human Torch. Oh, I'm not even going to go that route, because... Right. There's a, a, so much more wrong with this than that. I mean, that's just a petty ass thing to bitch about. I mean, black. Move past that. Yeah. Let's move past the fact that these characters, at their core, they're physically supposed to represent what they become in their superpowers in some way. Yes. Like Sue's always kind She's of been shy, want to be around. exactly timid, so the invisibility. Reed's yeah. always stretching himself too far. Yeah. Ben is a, a big guy. He's the like he's, you know. He's the foundation he's the of the team. Yeah. And how's what's the guy's name? Jamie. I don't know the guy's name. I don't remember. I want to say Jamie Bell, but I think that's wrong. I don't remember his name. But whatever his name is, I, I think he was in a movie with uh, whatever. Who cares what movie he was in? Yeah. Just bad casting all around in this Fantastic Four thing. I think Fox is going to drop the ball. With it. What they should have did was just give keep the X Men franchise and give Marvel back Fantastic Four. That's what they should have did. Do you think that? Uh, X Men will ever revert back to Marvel. Yes. And if it's and if it does, do you think it'll just be too late then? Yes and yes. It'll go back to Marvel, but they've already yeah, like I guess it's been the, what since two thousand it's been fourteen years that uh, X Men's been known in their little universe. You know they got what three, four, five, six with Days of Future Past seven movies coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of uh, movie continuity for somebody who was introduced to the X Men franchise in the early two thousands to just kind of throw away. Yeah, no, totally. You know? And it, dude, let's face it. 
love it or hate it, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Yeah, like, that's absolutely. It. Yeah, you know. So the casting. Uh, but then again, you know what? We can't say that because then people still think Christopher Reeve is like the best Superman. Yeah. You know, and then you have people who think, oh, Brandon, the very, very small percentage. Ralph think was good Ralph Superman. was the best Superman, yeah, you know. No, so, I don't know. I'm not happy with the casting, of course, but obviously I think uh, with time, Fox will go take Fantastic, or excuse me, Marvel will get Fantastic Four back. And, of course, the contract rights for uh, X-Men will expire someday, so Marvel will go ahead and swoop it up. So Interesting. Keeping on the Marvel thing, I think, what, are they moving into their second season coming up soon here of... Uh Agents of Shield. Of Agents of Shield. Yeah. And Agents of Shield's executives are promising more cameos. They're promising to they're going to be the show. This uh, two Tuesdays that, that ago. Deserve. Two Tuesdays ago was the one where um, Sith. Sith. Sith was on the show. Yeah, yeah. Sith. Sith. My fault. Lady Sith. Yeah, she was on the show there. So you know, I didn't watch it. Um, I haven't been watching. <laughs> well, no, I haven't been watching Agents. No, it's okay. Shield. I haven't because, watched it. Uh, Sorry. Not because it's one of those things where it's like, I think this show sucks. Because I was one of the one people that were on Facebook on the Comics Remix page like, you know what? You guys need to give this show a chance. You know, every show has a slow period. Now, coming off of the, the steam that they had with the Marvel movies, there's no reason why they should have had it come off to a slow start. You know, I mean, you come yeah, off the no. gate. But, you know, it's still S.H.I.E.L.D., so you know it's going to tie in eventually. I mean, we all, I understand that you got to be like, see, and, and people are like, oh, you just, you know, you they were trying to build, they are trying to get you to know these characters before they moved into all this stuff. And, like, the problem is, is they could have moved into all this stuff and we could have gotten to know the characters. Yeah. They didn't need to build the, and that's the problem, is their fucking characters are weak, okay? They built the show around Agent Coulson. And now I'm not shitting on the character of Agent Coulson. I like Agent Coulson, but he's not enough to carry a show. And there wasn't enough weight with Coulson. I didn't find any of those characters interesting. Right. Except for the hot chick that seemed like she was going to be a double agent. Oh, um... Sky or Sky, whatever. Sky, oh my whatever. gosh, she's beautiful. So, I watched maybe the first three or four episodes of that show, and then I was out, because it just wasn't... It, it didn't interest me at all. And for me, them promising that it's going to be what I... It's too little too, too late. I don't feel like putting myself through... Well, maybe five years from now... If Agent of Shield is on Netflix and there's like four seasons, I might dive into that shit because I am a binge watcher. Right. I'm about to binge watch Star Wars: The Clone Wars, and I wanted nothing to do with that shit when it was on TV. But now that I can binge watch it all, yeah, maybe. Why not? But uh, Shield, uh, they shoot him with the arrow out. Man, Arrow kicks ass. This it was a slow burn, man, to build, and there were a few saving graces that kept me watching Arrow every week. But there were episodes in the first season of Arrow where I was like, that could have been better. You it know wasn't what? Bad. I'm behind. I um, could have been better. I'm very behind. You're in the. You're, you're watching I'm still the first watching season, the first right? season. Well, if you're the first ten episodes. You know what? I that's what I say. Um, I'm like maybe like, fifteen episodes in. There was not one episode that I did not like. Yeah, they were all good, but it, not even slow burn. Like every episode really? had my attention. I swear. Yeah. yeah, every episode had my attention. It was hard for me at first. Maybe the first five episodes. I just and like, then like all, all right, I'm, I'm trying I'm to watch. It. I'm trying to watch like fifty shows at once. When you only got like two hours a week to I watch something, that, you know, so you gotta pick and choose. So Plus, I'm paying ten dollars for this that. network. I might as well watch wrestling yeah, as hey, much as possible. Hey. And you know, since we're talking about Arrow, uh, I'll just keep it in the Arrow camp of the CW. Flash, Flash headshot of the costume. I love was real. that. That cow looked great. It looked good, man. Why? And why do people diss on the '90s suit? What the fuck was wrong with the '90s suit, dude? That was a fucking excellent Flash suit. Yeah, it was cool. And people were like, oh, it sucked. It was fucking. Like, people were bashing the shit out of it on the internet. Because it was like, it was foam padded, or like, uh, felt, felt padded. It was like felt, like, it was felt. Like, come man. on, man, like, who cares, it's, it's fine. Fuck, man, it looked good. It's fine. What did you want, some plastically looking latexy shit? They didn't, they never gave Batman a, a, a skin tight suit, he always had padding. Yeah. He had armor. Nobody said shit about that. Yeah, right? What the fuck? I, I, I liked it, you know, and it proves, uh, that the shot of the Flash cow proves that you could actually do costumes on TV and not have them look very cheesy. Yeah. Because I know that was one of the rules with Smallville was they wanted no costumes. Because they look like, yeah. Yeah. And then um, with uh, with what I see, what I've, what I've watched so far in Arrow, it's not really a costume. But the thing that bugged me at first, I mean, I know he changed it later on, but the thing at first that bugged me was the green paint across yeah. the eyes. Like, come on, really? And now he's finally got the domino mask. Yeah. But it's like, dude, you can't tell who this guy is with green paint across yeah, his know. eyes. Yeah, I know. It was bad. I'm not really caring for the interpretation of some of the characters on the show. Right. But I mean, there's uh, there's a lot there's a lot of people that are bashing that show. Now I know I'm getting off the flash here. I'm going back to Arrow and doing the Agents of Shield comparison and saying that you know, well, you know, do you want just some show that's just going to give you fan service to shit? And people are bringing up like uh, the Blackhawks. 
as the, the Blackhawks were very briefly on Arrow. They were like a, 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 a team of thieves, but they were very like. I saw that episode. What the Blackhawks really are. Right. Is that was. Uh, yeah, no, it was the Blackhawks because the dude was like ex agents, and that's when Diggle. Uh, he like joined the Exactly, yes. Or what, he like so his people friend. were like, oh, you know, they're just throwing away villains like they're crap. Yeah. And I don't really feel that way. I feel like they're building, man. That's yeah. building. Uh, in the Flash show, I'm excited to see it. I wasn't too excited when I first they were casting, but then when the guy that's playing the Flash was on Arrow, I don't know if you got to those episodes. I yet. saw. No, that's season two. Oh, that is season two? Yeah. Oh, shit, my bad. I, know, I, 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 I saw the clip on where he was introduced, uh, that crime scene or whatever. So so I have, that, that show looks like it'll be good. I don't know if you've heard this. This might be kind of relatively new compared to most of the stuff we've been talking about. I, Zombie Pilot, coming to the season. I, I heard, like, I heard uh, some fans were talking about it at the shop, and uh, that's pretty much all I got out of it. That I seems didn't. like a show that would fit on the CW. Yeah. Yeah. If you've read I Zombie, I liked it. It was okay. I don't think I didn't finish it the whole series, but I read the most, of, the majority of it. But yeah. it, it fits for their, their you know type of programming. No, I agree. Oh, did you hear about all the Netflix Marvel shows that are coming? Dude, I'm loving it. Yeah, like McDonald's, I'm loving it. That excites you? It does, man. Especially because they're actually filming in New York. You know, mm-hmm. you got the four street level shows that are going to tie together and make the Defenders. I think that'd be badass. Now, do you think they'll attempt to take that into a movie? Um, I, I would be. It would be stupid for Marvel not to tie it in somehow. I mean, you could give it a Defenders movie because they do have dates set up with no announcements yet. Right. So I would. That'd be pretty cool. Or if they went ahead and did something where it wasn't established, like the Defenders series on Netflix. Right. You know, and obviously the other four are done. Mm-hmm. It's just one series, but you can integrate them into the Marvel movies somehow. You know, they're like how Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. runs off the Marvel yeah, Universe. Yeah, totally. Start it in reverse. Have the show run into the Marvel now, see, Universe. Now, see, that's my question about DC now. Now, if DC's building, they're building a cohesive connected TV universe with Arrow and Flash. Mm-hmm. Now, does this mean they're going to use these characters eventually in the Give movie? <laughs> will, will the kid that plays Flash on the TV show be the Flash from Justice League movie, or will they recast? That, that's a wait and see. There's be been rumors about universe. Stephen Amell being Green Arrow if they cast him in, uh, in the movie. Or I love that guy, dude. He's great, really interactive with his fans on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's, like uh, he was at Walker, uh, Walker Stalker. Now. Was he? Yep. Him, Diggs, uh, what's her name? Felicity and uh, Destro. The guy who plays Destro. Nice, yes. The new Bennett. Yep. Like um, I said, one of the saving graces that show for me. He, uh... The guy's awesome. Crix is Sparkus. Watch it. Success. He and I mean speaking Stephen Amell, Stephen Amell, like he would make a good TV or excuse me not TV movie Green Arrow just kind of depends on the rest of the casting as well. Right. Also, keep in mind that's why they never cast Tom Welling in Man of Steel. You know they're like they specifically said and with Superman Returns actually is the movie I'm thinking yeah. they cast Brandon Roth instead of uh, Tom Welling which remember Smallville was running at the time. Yeah, totally. So they might take that route as well. No, my final piece. Of TV news, NBC is bringing back heroes. Huh? NBC oh yeah, yeah, is yeah. Bringing back heroes. Right, right, right. That's how I feel about it. Huh? <laughs> what? You know, man, Heroes when it came on, phenomenal show. First two seasons, awesome. Yeah. Three and four, just just worse and worse. The drove that show into the ground, man. Yeah. Now they've got the original series creator coming back. I, I think it might possibly just be a miniseries. There isn't a lot of details on it yet. They haven't said whether or not there will or will not be characters reappearing from the old show. Mm. Um, do we care? I don't. It's, I, I think at this point you're too far out. It's just like, eh. Right, right. It's been too long. That's like when Kevin Smith was writing Spider-Man Black Cat, The Evil That Men Do. They did two issues, and then six years later, you got the final issue wrapping it up. Yeah. And at that point, did you really care anymore? Not at all. I just... even had to buy the two issues combined in one that they put out the same week it came out, so people that had could read it, or if you could, like me, yeah. I didn't even know where the fuck I put it. It's like, ah, uh, you know, too little, too late, man. It's, that's, but I feel like that's NBC trying to jump on this superhero bandwagon, you know? Right, right. Because CW's about to explode with it. Fox has got that Gotham show coming out. Mm-hmm. Which I hear mixed things about. Sometimes I hear it's supposed to be like, you know, like uh, the... What was that Gotham PD book that was out? GCPD. GCPD. Yeah. I hear sometimes it's supposed to be like that. I hear sometimes it's supposed to be like Bruce Wayne going to high school and running into people that are going to be the villains. Like, like I, like I heard that. This horrible fucking, like... 
Like Smallville. But yeah, like Smallville version Small of Batman. Smallville was good. And I it like sounds it. terrible. And they've even cast like the kid that's going to be the young Bruce Wayne. Yeah. I, it's, I don't care. Don't do that. It's terrible. Right. With all movies and TV shows, the only thing you can do is wait and see. No, that's, this is true, man. That's it. This there's is nothing true. else for it. Do you think there's any possibility, and I know this is high hopes, that we'd get Bay Ray Bill in a Thor movie? You never know. Because I think that would be awesome. You never know. I was thinking about th- obscure characters the other day that I really liked as a kid and that I still kind of hold some kind of, you know, feelings for. And Beta Ray fucking Bill is awesome. You know, if they're going to put ever put him in a movie, the best place to do it would be in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Dude, yeah. it's a space... Think about this. They're space, uh, space pirates, okay? Now, with them being space pirates, you know you're going to get a couple scenes where they're sitting at a space bar. Why would that be the perfect place to put these cameos of all these other characters? Why not have Beta Ray Bill sitting in the background having a beer or something? You know what I mean? That, if they're gonna do it, that would be the perfect place, hands down. Who agrees with me? Me. I All totally right. agree for sure. But uh, yeah, that's that's it for the comics news, buddy. Uh, for you know, I guess it's a wait and see on a lot of things. Yeah. Will this mess of characters that's going to be a Man of Steel sequel be good? Will anybody care about heroes when it comes back? No, nobody will. Will I Zombie actually make it into a show past the pilot? And when's the damn Flash gonna come? Yeah. I want to see that show. But that's it for this issue of comics. Oh my god, I almost call this Comics Remix. Nice. That's, that's it for this issue of The Spinner Rack. As always, I'm your host, Big B. Brian Adams, joined by my co-host, Junior Reeves. Like we said, ComicsRemix.com, the hub for all we do. So just to run that schedule down one last time, Wednesdays we start the week with Breaking the Fourth Wall. Thursdays I've got my video reviews for a couple comics that I've read that week. Fridays, Brian and I here on The Spinner Rack. Saturdays, Collector's Corner with Alex. Sundays, Movie Remix again with Sanchez and myself. We skip uh, Monday as a day in uh, everybody's got to rest, you know. And Monday finish, is our, our WWE Facebook war. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, that continues over into Tuesday when you can catch the Lock Up Wrestling Podcast with John and Tony. And that actually ends our week, and then the week begins again on Wednesday. Rinse and repeat. You know, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. See you back here next week for an all-new Spinner Rack. Later, guys. Later, guys.